and welcome back to Sugar Lee Shed Motors. Um, brakes breaking. I have been toiling away with these wheels, as you'll have seen in the episodes sort of dedicated to the wheels, um, with regards to getting these to work on this bike. Um, there's a whole backstory, but if you don't know it, go and watch the episodes. Um, but Effectively, I think I now have a plan for how I'm going to make the brakes work on these wheels which is the kind of last hurdle I'm facing um, with regards to getting the wheels to work. Um, I will save the front wheels for, uh, front brakes sorry, for another episode. Uh, today I'm going to concentrate on the back and the front ones will be a little bit more complicated so I'll, I'll, I'll cover them in a separate episode. Um, if you are eagle-eyed, <laughs> you'll notice uh, this blue spot caliper that has been crudely electrical taped onto the disc and I've also got some TIG filler wire acting as sort of crude spacers here as well. Effectively what it's doing however is keeping the caliper exactly center on the disc with enough clearance um, for the disc to spin obviously without hitting the caliper and the pads to contact the the braking surface on the disc. That's effectively where I need the caliper to stay. Now I need to create a bracket, uh, a caliper hanger bracket so that that caliper stays there because obviously right now it's electrical taped to the disc <laughs> if I spin the wheel. Anyway, so um, what I've done so far is I've taken off the old caliper hanger, uh, that's not going to work, um, just for various different reasons. Uh, the My thought process here is I've turned a steel spacer um, on in, in here, basically I've put it onto the, the axle and that's where it's going to pick up, um, the, the, the bracket's going to pick up off that. So effectively I need to come up with the shape of a bracket, probably going to do a cardboard template and my favourite. Um, make sure that it all lines up pretty much where I want it to be and then turn that cardboard template into steel. Cut it all out obviously and then drill holes, weld it on and hopefully that will be the caliper held exactly where I need it to be. And then I can uh, also think about a, a torque arm I need to pick up from uh, the bracket on the swing arm here and come in to prevent the, the thing rotating. Uh, it's a fairly standard way of mounting a back brake on a bike is to have a caliper hanger and all that. It's just that this is completely custom to this bike because uh, it, it, the other caliper hanger is not going to work and custom discs just aren't an option. Um, hideously expensive, basically. Uh, so I'm going to try and use the Brembo discs I bought initially. Um, and uh, to do that, obviously, I've got a little bit of jiggery pokery. My favourite phrase, jiggery pokery, but I'm sure we can manage and I'm sure we'll get there and the result will be very satisfying. So without further ado, let's get some cardboard out and get templating. <laughs>
Well, there we have it. A rear brake uh, hanger all sorted and mounted up. Um, that means that's the back wheel done. Uh, yeah, only thing to do is to get a proper axle made up, but um, I'll, I'll do that when when I get around to it. <coughs> um, for the time being, we have a wheel that spins. Um, they're old, horrible brake pads that are all crumbly, um, hence why they're kind of making marks on my lovely brand new Brembo discs. But <coughs> um, the reason I've got pads in there is so that I've, when I was making up the positioning for this, I get a good idea of where the rotor needed to be <coughs> on the caliper. Anyway, ignore that. Um, aside from that, we've got a, a wheel that spins uh, no play side to side or up and down, solid, um, centred in the frame. Yeah, I can tick off the back wheel and the back brake. Um, I may finesse this slightly, may round this slightly better, but for all intents and purposes, that's, that's that done. Um, like I said earlier, uh, the next kind of real challenge is the front ones, but I, I do have a plan for that, but I'll cover that in another episode, because I'm, I'm aware that this episode's probably <coughs> gotten away from me a little bit. <coughs> anyway, as usual, please do give me a like, leave me a comment, and subscribe to the Shugly Shed channel. Uh, yeah, I will hopefully see you next time where we'll be tackling the front wheel. I think that's the next job to tick off. Anyway, take care. Goodbye.